Hello viewers. So today we are here to render the view as a string. So normally, see this is my action. Okay. So action result. See I want to render this action result as one more view as a string. Okay. One more view as a string is the today's topic we are going to see. So how to achieve this? I will show you in a step by step. So uh, for that, I going to create one a method. Um, I just uh, written type uh, as a string. So anyways, I need uh, uh, this particular view. I need to convert as a string. So that is what the today's my requirement. I just keep the name as some technical word. I will render razor view to the string. So normally, whatever the uh, razor view that I render that I need to convert to string. So here I uh, accepting the two parameters one is model object and one is the view name. So which view, view name you want to render uh, like that. So okay so majorly I am going to use a uh, string writer uh, to um, whatever the views that we are pausing here to convert as a string. So uh, this model I just go on to take in a view data so uh, normally uh, the object whatever I have I just st storing in the view data then I'm just to go on to create the disposable string reader where sw equal to string writer So inherit the namespace. I hope it's a system .io. So just double click and add it. That will be added in in the reference. Okay. So you have to aware that I going to uh, convert the razor view to the string, not a um, ASPX page. So that you have to aware that I am trying in a MEC applications and uh, using Visual Studio 15. Here I basically need a two uh, set of things. One is the view result and the view context. View result actually helps us to uh, form or uh, to find the which a partial view. So, anyways, normally in a code level we are trying to assess some view. It is called as a partial view. So that is what we are trying to do with the um, view result and view context. You already know we need to combine uh, the v which controller and uh, which view and what are the object that I need uh, its record for that particular view. So I just um, have already built this. So I want to show you directly. Okay. So what I uh, did here, I will explain you. So I I explained already that view result helps us to find which uh, view actually. So that is what here. So normally task uh, so view result holds that find the partial view. So which uh, view you, you go and find with this find partial view and default controller context that will help us to render all the control context and you mention which view you need to find. So now uh, we already got the view result and view context we need to form finally. So view context is normally helps okay. Uh, uh, helps us to specify the uh, which controller context and which view result and uh, whatever the object whatever you can pause it and finally where uh, that output you need, need to write actually so that is what all about so you can check the parameters so uh, if you see here so first it asks for the view okay and then the view data and the temp data and the writer so initially it asks for the control context which control it is default control context that you need to mention and view result view result is nothing but which view so view result have uh, the data of the view so okay so view result it will hold whatever the details of the view so view context context you know normally context it will hold all the details like uh, whatever the details so that is what uh, in a view context so view context we need normally so if you find the views you need a controller context and what is a view 
and what are the other objects that you need and finally the text writer the writer i just mentioned as a string so with this view context we, we it helps us to go on to write the string so that is what so just be patient if you're not understanding i will explain you shortly the complete uh, stuffs so this is what the procedure you need to follow so what i did is so far is i created one method so uh, this method will accept my view name and optional or uh, model model suppose you want to post something model that is what so that model i am stored in a view data so finally i have a requirement to write my view as a means that my action as a string so so i am taking the string writer so string writer helps us to write whatever the content into the string so that is what so first i need to do is i need to find the which view so for that in a view engine okay in the view engine engines find the partial view so that will helps us to find the view so we need to mention the default controller context that is what i mentioned it asked for that so this will be default it will inherit from the base controller so that if i go deep it will be a bit difficult so how to what is a controller context you just learn bit so it is normally it's inherited from the base so it has the um, properties of all the controllers okay that is what all about or uh, controller types what it going to exactly do and view contacts helps us to make the contacts ready otherwise uh, i can explain you in a different way see normally uh, db contacts you take that what it will asset it will create the in a code first approach it ask for a db set so so db set what it ask for what is a model really so that model and what are the table name you need to mention so for example i'll show you shortly something that you can understand you can map yeah it is like that Mm, yes so this is my context okay db data con contest so here i am inheriting the property db context normally if i want to get the data so i need the model of that so that is the model th this view result actually it's holding again what we going to do once we form this context it means this context i need to render the particular view right so for that how to achieve that so view result dot view dot render okay render it will ask for the co context so we already formed the data contents data content here is nothing but my view context and where to write so write already we have a string writer ready so task i to write next what the step is to i need to release this view so already i render the data so i need to release that because now we done the render process so now i need to release this view result so how to achieve that dot view engine dot release the view so release the view default control context you posit control context anyways i am using the base controller and the view is my view result dot view so my view is actually here so i'll already find out that so, yep it's done now then finally i need to return my string builder now on the release my string builder contain my all the stuffs okay return sw dot get string builder to string yes finally it's done so let me go and call this method in my data here okay so pause the view name my view name is test this i want to test it actually okay and model object something will pass okay something 22 anyways i am not uh, using any model object here okay so mm, okay uh, better i will create one more uh, okay fine uh, let uh, let it go and return the view directly instead of writing a content so it will be very simpler uh, okay 
okay so view already I have yeah I have already the view go freelancer the content which I have already okay fine so anyways uh, it won't uh, accept any model so this I will write as a string same thing like test mm -hmm. okay okay I'll uh, keep already already a breakpoint here let it be I'll keep one more uh, breakpoint uh, here as well okay so this will help us to find out exactly we uh, got the result string result so anyways I need this reservoir to convert to the string we'll see how it really works so let me go and uh, run this my page okay so I need to hit this action so it is under the home controller and the view data okay so let me go and call that home slash data yes so it's hitting my breakpoint let's go step into that okay so anyways the model currently we are not using so I we used using to disposable so make it a disposable one fine so now uh, I got my view here by uh, I already explained to you so by using this I can find my exact where my view path everything so find uh, the control context default um, con uh, controller con uh, uh, context so if you uh, study about more about control context please uh, go to the official website msd and you can learn a lot about that so this is the default the properties it will inherit and provide us fine so what the view we are searching for is test that is already present under mm, the views under the folder yes views under the home test.cshtml it is there it's telling that and now uh, we need to build the context so we done the okay sorry step out of that okay fine okay so finally so my context is uh, built out so it's trying to render my view okay so in the test okay let me go and expand that so I got a result yes I got a result go freelancer so if you go and see here so I have only a content called go freelancer this is my dynamic code it's a shishop code so it won't uh, normally render so now this is converted me if you see here mouse over you can see in a uh, tool tips okay so I got a bit of line break and I got a go freelancer so hopes you understand how to convert the Razor view to string just to view what I done before if you not understand please have a, a command because it's just a, like a process the be, uh, it's like a, um, understanding is a bit difficult why this is came why is that is came because this is what they are trying to push people to work on the way because if you want to see very depth on that why we need to do such a things you had so simple example so what I did uh, done here is I just uh, created my view result view result it will go and find the partial and uh, we need to render the partial we need to build the view context view context why it is self as uh, whatever the object that normally we want to pass model or whatever to the view so that will help us otherwise you can directly render the view that is uh, there is a uh, no meaning in it so you can render but uh, because why I mentioned in this tutorial because you guys need to use of this so I just made it this one and finally 
a string writer no, normally you know about that so with the string writer help of that you can write this view to the string so thanks for watching the video guys hopes you understand if you not please share your comments please subscribe our channel if you not subscribe before